Hey guys and welcome back. So today's video is going to be an office revamp slash renovation. So as you can see the little tiny screen is what it looked like before and now this is what it looks like now after. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. So we did not do anything to this room whenever we first moved in. This used to be our old bedroom and now this is going to be my new office and then my old office is now our new bedroom. So I started out by painting the trim. So all of the trim um, the windows, all of that good stuff. I painted everything white and I realized very quickly that the ceiling is not white. It's actually like a beige, beige like off-white color. So then I went in and I painted the ceiling that same white color. I ended up doing two coats on the ceiling as well as two coats on the trim. I will have every single thing that I use linked down in the description box down below as well as like the exact names of all of the paint and all that good stuff because I cannot remember. I'll have it linked individually as well as through the Like to Know It app so that way you guys can just go to the Like to Know It app and just favorite it and that way it's all in one place if you are wanting to do that. So then I went in and I patched up all of these holes as you can see in like the before. There were a ton of holes in the walls. I have absolutely no idea why. I don't know. But I went ahead and patched them all up. So then I started in on the walls and I went in with this really cute like beige-ish off-white color. Very similar honestly to the ceiling of what the ceiling used to look like. And it is so stinking cute. I know like right now whenever you're looking at it you're just like oh crap that's not going to be cute. But in the end it looked so cute and it turned out so well. I was very worried whenever I did that first coat. I was like oh crap I'm going to hate this. But I actually really really loved the way it turned out. I ended up doing um, like two and a half coats like two coats and then like a very very light layer so technically three but I'm gonna say two and a half because it was such a light layer that it wasn't even like a full coat so that is what it looks like with just two coats and then like I said I ended up going ahead and putting on a very thin coat on top of it so I'm sure you guys can tell I did not put any kind of tape on that trim to make sure that there wasn't any like paint that got on it the reason for that is because the tape would not stick. I'm not sure if it had something to do with like the type of paint I used. I have no idea, but I could not get the tape to stick no matter what I did. So then I just said screw it and I was like I'm just going to paint the walls and then I will repaint the trim. And that's exactly what I did. I went in with the tape and I just taped up the walls so that way I wouldn't get any white anywhere. And I just completely repainted all of the trim and made sure that it was all good to go and it looked real cute. So then after that I put this sealant on it. Um, the reason for that is because it was a wood type of trim before and because the wood had like a sealant on top of it, whenever you paint on top of like a wood with a sealant, if, if there's like any kind of scratches or anything like that, it just takes the paint right off as you can kind of tell with that little piece of tape that I took off and it just kind of came right off along with it so that's why I went ahead and put the sealant on top of it so that way it would stay in place and it was not going anywhere no matter what happened I also want to mention that this sealant I did end up going with the matte one um, it looks fine on like the trim like that but I did also paint like the closet doors <laughs> there's Brandon I did also paint the closet doors and it was very streaky and I think it was just because it was like a matte type of finish and that's why it looked so streaky on like such a big area. So you may just want to take that into consideration if you are wanting to put the sealant on top of like a large area like a closet door or even like the wall or whatever. After that I went in with just like the normal wall color and I just kind of fixed any areas where the tape may have like kind of lifted up a little bit or anything like that. Um, so I'm sure you guys can kind of tell like the areas that I touched on. This is the exact same color as like the wall, it's just because it's wet and that's why it kind of looks a little wonky. And as I'm sure you guys can tell, I did not record every little bitty thing and there's a lot of things that got and got cut out. That is because my camera kept overheating and so I would think I was recording and I was not. So that was a real struggle. So as 
right now what I'm doing is I am actually just taking off any of the paint that I got on the windows and that's because I didn't tape up the windows. The windows are very, very old and I mean if they were new I wouldn't have done this. I would have just put tape on them but they're so old and we're getting new, new ones after the wedding anyway so I was like it's fine. I will just take it off and so I just use like the little, I don't even know what you'd call it. It'll be linked down in the description box down below. I just use that to get the paint off of it and that works. So now I am literally vacuuming and I'm hand vacuuming it all by hand with this little bitty hand vacuum. This vacuum is really, really good. It does have like a handle and everything to where you can actually like just like push it. But I really wanted to get in there deep and just really get out anything and everything that was in the carpet. Now I am shampooing the carpet and I just use like a little DIY shampooing mixture that I made with like fabric softener and baking soda and laundry detergent and that worked really really well and it smells really really good. So now I'm just going in with paint and I'm going to be painting my desk and then my two bedside tables. So the very first thing I started off by doing was literally just wiping down everything. So I wiped down all of the drawers, I wiped down the desk, I just wiped down every little bitty thing and I used just like a Clorox cleaner and I am going to then paint it. I used, um, it was it's the exact same color that I used on the trim only I went with a flat instead of a satin finish. Yeah. Right now I am taking off the contact paper that I had on top of this desk. Um, if you guys watched my previous like office tour video, which was my old office, I had like a marble type of contact paper on top and I really, really, really love the contact paper on top of like desks and stuff like that. One, it looks so cute and two, it's so easy to clean and it's just, I love it. I love contact paper on desks and stuff like that. And I feel like it's just a quick and easy and fast and cheap way of just really changing up your furniture. So now I'm just going in with that paint and I am painting all the drawers and the dresser and all of that good stuff. Then I'm going in and I'm painting these bedside tables. One of these bedside tables is going to go in my closet and then the other I'm going to have to go in the actual office and I'm going to put my printer on top of it next to my desk. I thought it would just be like a really, really cute little thing, and we just got all new bed furniture. And so I was like, that's perfect. This will look so cute in there, and it'll, you know, function well with my printer on top. So then I went in with this Rust Oleum metallic paint. Again, I cannot remember the name, but it will be linked down in the description box down below. I just wiped down that entire desk and I took the contact paper off of the drawer. The reason why I had the contact paper on the drawer is because whenever I got that desk, the drawer came damaged and in order for me to return it, I'd have to ship it back and pay for the whole shipping and it was a whole process. Probably should have done that, but I didn't. It's fine. So I took that contact paper off and then like I said, I'm just using this metallic paint and I am painting the legs of the desk. And then I also, at the last minute, decided to go ahead and paint the drawer. I was like, maybe this will help with the whole fact that it's kind of like, you know, messed up. And it actually did. It actually ended up looking really good and you can't really tell unless you get really close. So now I'm going in with a different type of contact paper. This is like a wood type of contact paper. I got it from Amazon and it is so stinking cute and it has like some texture to it, which I love. Ah, I'm so obsessed. And guys, I found the easiest way to apply contact paper. I'm probably not even going to be able to describe it in words, but you literally just kind of pull it up a little bit, take the tiniest little piece out, and then you just literally roll it and just keep doing that. Again, can't put it into words, but if you watch it, it is the easiest way to make sure that you are getting bubble-free contact paper desk thing. It's so cool. So then I just took a box cutter and I cut it all, all of the extra away. And y'all, it just, it turned out so freaking cute. I am obsessed with my desk now. I literally love the wood and I'm so glad I went with the wood instead of the marble again. 
All right, now I'm just cleaning up a little bit and then bringing in this other desk. As you guys can see with the finished product, it looks really, really cute with the metallic paint on top. So then I'm going in and I am just cleaning off my work computer. This is the one that I use to work because I do work from home. And yeah, I'm just cleaning this all off and getting it all set up and good to go. As you guys can see, I have that bedside table there with my printer on top. And then I have that piece of tape on my butt. That's really nice. <laughs> Gosh. <sighs> I do want to mention I am going to get a new desk chair eventually. Not right this moment, but at some point I am going to get a new desk chair. This one's comfortable. It's not bad. But I honestly just don't really like the overall look of it in this room. And the white is so freaking hard to clean. It's literally impossible to clean. It's so hard. Also, I apologize if you guys can hear Brandon. He's playing his game in the next room and he's all stinking wild. So then I just went on my computer and I made these little like prints with different words on them. Um, one of them says, we make our own future, that's a saying from Dean Winchester on Supernatural. And then I have, the only time I set the bar low is for Limbo, which is from The Office, and Michael Scott said it. And then I have a quote from Game of Thrones as well, which is, I survived because the fire inside me burned brighter than the fire around me, which is a saying from Darnarius Targaryen. It is the exact same one that I had in my old office. Only I switched up the font a little bit. The Game of Thrones one is actually the real Game of Thrones font. And then the font for the Supernatural one is a little bit different. I thought it looked kind of cool and kind of like band, like bandy, if that makes sense. I feel like there's a band that has like those exact letterings and I feel like it kind of went with the whole Supernatural thing. So then I decided to make like this cute, cute hat wall. I absolutely love hat walls. I'm obsessed with them. And I just use like some command hooks to apply this with. I think it looks so stinking cute. I actually have five hats, but I have no idea where my other hat is, which is why I am missing one in that spot. But eventually there will be another hat there. So then Brandon and I put up this mirror, so that way this was like my little vanity setup, same as before. And I went in with that metallic paint for the mirror, and I think that it looks so cute. Then I am applying this canvas on top of it. Oh my goodness, words. So we are just putting that on top and we are using the command strips for that. I love command strips, command hooks. Oh, they're fantastic. They don't damage the walls and it's so stinking easy to apply. So then I'm just creating this little cute little section for Tinsley. I'm going in with that same T and then the paw print, the same as my old office, but I painted those that same metallic color. Then I also have this picture frame with a print in it that I made, but I'm actually going to switch that print up a little bit um, just because I do not like the pink that is on there. So I am going to switch it up at some point. But this is the finished product. I ended up putting a hook on the wall so that way it could hold my purse, put up the prints, which I apparently forgot to film that. Um, love the contact paper on that desk. It's so cute. Cute little section for Tinsley. The hat wall, I also painted the frame of that lips picture, that same metallic color. And if there's anything specific that you guys would like to know about any of the items in here, just let me know and I can let you guys know. I also painted that mirror the same metallic color as well. I'm just obsessed with the way this turned out. I also went in with the contact paper for this old dresser and I also painted the knobs. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.